Okay, so today we're going to be learning about bar chords. Now a bar is when you cover all the strings on one fret. And a bar chord is when you form chords that way across all the strings on a fret. So then you can play the same chord in higher keys. And it's a very tricky thing for beginners to learn. However, it's a very useful tool because it's present in a lot of songs. And today I'll show you a song by the Pixies called Where Is My Mind, which uses mostly bar chords. Okay, so there are two basic shapes to a bar chord, and it is best to think of them as shapes, so that way you can move them up and down the neck, and the shape stays the same. So the two shapes we use mainly are going to be the E shape and the A shape. So if you think of your E chord, which is your middle finger at the second fret of the A string, ring finger at the second fret of the D string, and first finger at the first fret of the G string. If you take that shape, which you see here, and then you move it up the neck, it will bar the, the uh, fret all the way down, so all the strings are fretted and just play that same basic shape. So if we do it at the 5th fret here, we bar the 5th fret. So the 5th fret effectively becomes the nut over here, the open notes. And then just fret everything the same as you would on an E chord. So if you're at the 5th fret, you put your ring finger at the 7th fret of the A string, your pinky finger at the 7th fret of the D string, and your middle finger at the 6th fret of the G string. So you have your basic E-shaped bar chord. And you can move that anywhere on the fretboard. And just keep the same fret positions with your fingers, and you can just slide that around. Now, of course, this is going to be very difficult in the beginning because you're not used to fretting all the strings with one finger. But some tips so that it is much easier is if you take your first finger like this, which is going to be the one doing the barring, and you use the side of your finger rather than just the fleshy part here. If you roll it over so it's the bony side of the finger that's making contact with the strings, it's a lot easier than using the flat end. And then keep your elbow tucked into the side of your body so that way you have more leverage. So that's the E chord, bar, and a little note, if you just want to make this minor instead of major, just lift the middle finger and play it just like that, without the middle finger on the next fret here. Okay, so then let's take the A shape bar chord, which if you think of the A chord that we have. which is the everything on the second fret here. And then just do the same concept that we did with the E chord. This one's going to be a little bit trickier because you try to have all your fingers at the same fret. But this is still the same concept. So if we go at the, if we bar the fifth fret like this, you'll put your middle finger at the 7th fret of the D string, ring finger at the 7th fret of the G string, and pinky finger at the 7th fret of the B string. And this is the easiest way to do it when you're first learning how to do a bar, but another alternative would be just to take your ring finger and cover all the strings. Like this. 
I, however, do not recommend that when first learning it because it's much more difficult. Okay, and then similarly to the E chord, you can also make this minor by just moving this B string down a fret. So if you think of our A minor shape here, and move that up, you now have a minor chord. And that's with the ring finger at the seventh fret, pinky finger at the seventh fret, and middle finger at the first fret of the B string. Or sixth fret. Okay, and when learning bar chords, it's very important that all the notes ring out. Because when you first start out, you may not have all of the strings barred properly. So I suggest, when first starting out, to just try barring every string. So if you take your first finger, try to cover every string on there and press down firmly. And let me show you the side here. You'll have your thumb behind the neck, basically down the middle. And you don't want to put a vice grip on it, because that could put strain on your wrist. You'll just want to gently apply pressure, and the pressure is coming from your finger, not from your thumb. Just try that, and strum across all the strings, and then hit into every individual string to make sure they ring out. And then adjust accordingly if you find that some strings are not ringing out. And then you can start adding in the fingers. And then individually pluck the strings and make sure everything rings out. Okay, so now I'm going to show you where is my mind with the Pixies, which uses bar chords. And it uses mostly this E-shaped bar chord. And then it also just uses the A minor shape bar chord that we showed. So it sounds like this. in order. So we start with this open E, which is a chord we already know. However, we're going to play it a little bit differently, and this is a good trick to know that when you're in a song that uses predominantly bar chords, you should form your E a little bit different. So if you think of your bar chord, which has your ring finger, pinky finger, and middle finger forming the chord, just take that same shape and move it down to the open position. And instead of barring the fret, you just let the nut be the bar. And the reason we're going to form it this way today is because it's easier to move from a bar chord to that open E, rather than having to lift your, all your fingers off the guitar and reform it a different way. So we're going to form the E major chord with your ring finger at the second fret of the A, your pinky at the second fret of the D string, and your middle finger at the first fret of the G string. So that's the first chord. The next chord is this A minor shape at the fourth fret. So you're going to bar the fourth fret your first finger, and then you'll have your ring finger two frets up on the D string, your pinky two frets up on the G string, and your middle finger one fret up on the D string. And then we'll move to the E shape on the fourth fret. So we're still saying at the same fret, so don't take your your uh, index finger off the fourth fret. Just move the whole shape down the string. So if you think of your E shape, that'll be your index barring the fourth fret, your ring finger two frets up on the A string, your pinky finger two frets up on the G string, 
uh, D string, I mean. And your middle finger, one fret up on the G string. Okay, so let's recap. You got this open E. You go to the fourth fret, make an A minor shape. Stay at the fourth fret and make an E major shape. And then the last chord in the sequence is the E shaped bar chord at the fifth fret. And all you'll do is just take the position and slide everything up one fret. So you go E, A minor shape at the fourth, E shape at the fourth, and slide up one fret. Okay, so the strumming pattern on this one is very simple. You'll just go down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. So the first three chords are all going to follow the same thing. That's simple down, 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 up. But then when you hit that last chord in the sequence, it's just going to be very straight. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, and that's going to be the whole song, and you'll just repeat it the entire time.